So the formula for compound interest is as follows. We have FV, which is future value, is equal to PV, present value, times 1 plus I, this is our annual interest rate, to the power of N, this is our number of years. So I have it here for us. I've already written it down to save you guys having to watch me write this. So we have future value, present value, annual interest rate, and a number of years. So basically pretty much any time you ever go to a bank and you want to get a loan or you want to deposit some money into a, um, into a like savings account or something like that, uh, they're probably going to be compounding your interest annually, unless they say otherwise. But So that's this one. We're going to do compound interest. So let's say uh, we take... Let's say we take $100,000 and we're going to invest this into some bank account that has a 3% interest rate or, again, we express this in this formula as 0 0.03. Uh, and we're going to say we're going to invest this for 10 years. Uh, 10 years. All right. So we'll just go ahead and type this into our formula. So our future value, this is what we're going to be looking for. We want to know how much money will we have after 10 years is up. Well, we say that we have FV is going to be equal to present value is 100,000. Uh, how many zeros do I have here? 100,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 to the power of n, which is 10 years, to the power of 10. So we say that we again have 100,000 times 1.03 to the power of 10. And if you just compute this with your calculator, um, if you don't have a financial calculator, that's okay. That's why we're doing these formulas. A lot of financial calculators will do this for you, but we're going to do a longhand. Uh, so we find that our future value is going to be equal to, it's about hundred and thirty four thousand three hundred and ninety one dollars and sixty four cents so that's how much money you'll have after yeah after you uh, invest hundred thousand dollars at three percent compounded annually for ten years um, now if you're into this whole financial stuff uh, you can click here I'll make this into a button uh, and if you know a little bit about programming or you want to get into a little bit of programming um, I made a I made a video on making an investment calculator in C++ so you might just find this interesting to take a look at or you know if you're if you're learning programming in school or something it might be helpful as well um, now I guess the next thing to say is well what if we're making uh, regular deposits uh, well we talk about that in the C++ program or also um, there's a formula for that a longhand formula that we'll do in the next video so I'll see you there